And that's what we need to see coming out from them. They find they find a back line, they start to take out these squishy supports. That smoke play from Nounce, hanging around that area, trying to counteract with their own smoke, does not pay off. Like you've got a weaver that can just break those smokes easily, gives them the information to jump in, Dyer's and they get the initiative there on attack. Tundra. So now it loses that vision advantage, loses that range advantage. They can still get run down. And really good punishment coming out from Tundra equalizes the game a little bit more. They aren't able to capitalize on objectives as much as they'd want, which is rather unfortunate. And they're not able to really push in for a tier one tower on mid or bot. They're not able to try to apply pressure in the top tier two, but they stall for time and they're, they're reminding now as to what can happen when things don't line up the 33 gunning for the refresh has the octarine on the doom so much more uptime on his spells multiple dooms would be massive and just taking away the healing for mu already makes him a lot squishier even though he basically has Vita restoration up 100 percent of the time it's just not gonna be doing enough they'll try for their own smoke now and now and still we're gonna find into set snaking topson's right behind him they'd love the earth but in fact the ice blast not gonna go further so snaking getting caught but lelis oh nice body block he blocks the roll again topson we are actually gonna roll in with the magnetize keep it going see if he can set something up for his team and snaking's gonna buy back into this one magnetize still ticking away but topson seems like he is gonna back out as now k1 moves in but k1 he's surrounded oh. he gets doomed up he needs some help his team Good right block. behind him but he uh, he's okay he's walking away for now it's time right they do commit everything but it doesn't seem like they're able to actually lock anyone down the doom committed but they are forced to just watch K1 walk away. That gunner. Oh, he's actually behind. Oh. Skitter. TP canceled. Now the death ward out. Skitter is down. Oh, gunner. Tips the out for the Earth maniac. Shaker. He blocked off Skitter in that fight, ensuring that the DPS of Thunder wasn't there. So even if they did chase without that spin, the damage was just not enough. And just again, perfect positioning from Gunner, perfect way of cutting off, leading that fight for a win on now and send. And they suddenly regain that 5k lead. They've got Roach control as well if they want to contest that. It is, is it is down bot. They do scout out with Yamsen. So that is something they can start to line up for, get that Aegis up for themselves, get the cheese going, and start to reconsider the high ground play once more. They are still hunting a little bit up top. When Tuki Tui is in the safer side of the jungle right now, although um, the flares do eventually spot out a bit, but just a little bit too far. Roshan, the safer plate. They're starting to group around that area. And again, there's no contest for Tundra. Unless they get a really good angle out here, they don't have forward vision by Rosh. They're playing elsewhere on the map. It's gonna be a nice free one for now and so far. It certainly will be Roshan. They just choose to go the way of Nouns. In the meantime, you do have now a refresh orb available on 33, so he's fully completed that up. Double Doom could be huge impact here in these next team fights. Be the, uh, the game changer that Side of Tundra have been looking for. Well, Nouns, with the Aegis up now, looking very, very potent. Slowly starting to move in through the mid lane already is K1. Skidder's still trying to work on towards that MKB. Him a, a bit more time for that one. Hopefully, he does have it up before the next high ground defense Radiance comes. And now, with the butterfly up on the Naga, he's having a lot of trouble just bursting down K1 with that guard string. Oh, Gunner, he's gonna find a nice Invis rune for himself. Let's bottle it up, we'll hold it for another day. It seems like Tundra, they're gonna do a pretty good job of avoiding the side of Nouns, but here's a smoke out. Nouns, not gonna run after Skitter, but he will just TP back towards the base. Yeah, Gunner breaks the smoke clear out of camp under vision, and I think they smoked under vision anyway on mid. Yeah. They do manage to dodge out for now. Um, the side of Tundra, the double doom, again, it's going to make a big difference. They're going to be able to try to pin down two targets. No Lincoln's finished up yet on now, and so although you are queuing up one on Mu, and I believe one on Yamsen as well, but that one in the A is going to take a little bit longer. So the solutions aren't completely there just yet from the side of now. We'll see if they find out opening. It's a lot of pressure on 3 3 It's a lot of pressure on Topson as well. But he does have the heart now on the Earth Spirit at the very least. So that does make it a little bit easier in trying to survive up front when you're rolling in or when you're joeling in. Is under attack. <laughs> Certainly so. Yeah, K1, he's still just camping mid lane. He just doesn't care. Straight on the front lines. Here comes the, uh, the cavalry though. Tundra, they might be able to punish him now as 
Skidder is right behind him. K1, got to be careful to get doomed up here by 33. He does now get doomed, but he does still jump away with the Ogre Radiant's Silk Club before that happens. And it seems like he may actually just be fine. I mean, he had the Aegis anyway, but doesn't even need to expend it. That's one Doom down. He'll refresh. He'll have the, the next available. Keep in mind, he does have the Octarine Core plus the Time Warp Aura on the Doom, so the cooldowns are very low for the Doom at the moment. But still, K1 knowing at least one Doom down, he does move up to the high ground, though does get stunned up by Skidder. In goes Topson. K1 though still really playing with fire as he just dances around them. In goes the BKB of Skidder and the Death Ward of Moo. That should be enough for both sides to retreat, but does Nouns want the melee barracks before they do go back home? They know the BKB mm -hmm. on the spin is not up. Nor is the guard yeah. strength for another 18 seconds. Radiant's K1's gonna move in on his own. Under attack. Just goes right onto 33. 33 forced to pop his BKB now. Just jumps away again with the Ogre Sil Totem. And K1, the, the guy's just got no fear. Topson. Silenced up with the Bloodthorn. K1 moving in, taking down half his HP and forcing the BKB out on the Earth Spirit. Another BKB forced out by K1. T3 bottom, bottom tower. tower is under attack. Going down quite fast here to announce. In comes Gunner to make sure it does get finished off. In fact, a nice Fisher. Radiance Lands onto snaking, but they won't fall. follow up with it. They'll just go after Radiance the range rats. Secure the objectives. Don't go too Radiance far. Structures are fortified. They've still got a minute 15 seconds on that Aegis timer here for K1. As four oh. star forward is there from nine. K1 happy to turn around and oblige here with the Weaver. In fact, the mana is running very, very low now. The kickback, I believe, I saw. Radiance bottom barracks has fallen. A little bit awkward here as they are going to lose nine. Radiance bottom barracks are under attack. It, it's a tough defense. They've got the egg. They've got the full MKB on Skitter, so they can do damage yeah, well, well. to K1. They've only got the one doom. Oh, refresh comes off cooldown. So double doom is ready. It looks like they will just accept Rax falling down. Creep wave comes in, mid Rax is forward. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. Just forward, he knows nothing. He knows it takes way too much to kill him off. Yeah, this is why K1 just farms the whole game. Because he knows he's going to get to this stage where you just can't contest him. And when our tops and he tries to do so, BKB is used up, but the roll gets blocked off again. He has to walk the old fashioned way. Meanwhile, Skidder trying to move on to K1. K1 still with the Aegis up, but he needs 15 seconds before it does expire. He'll pop the song up. He'll try to allow his team to retreat for now as nouns. They don't want to fight without that secondary life but the chase is on 33 looking for another doom out potentially will commit it onto k1 he found the naga but where's the backup here they come they've got the naga oh, nice oh. now Nellis. here comes gunner he's got the echo and skitter's oh my god they're all gone they are all gone moon takes an all prodigious call they caught oh my goodness what a way to finish off the game by nouns holy oh my God, that was that was finishing in style. They forced that fight out. Hector drags him all the way out. My goodness! Trying to chase down that Naga. The song comes in close. ใช่ครับอืมอยากไปซ่าเพราะว่าอ่ะก็ซ่าเนี่ยๆๆเห็นตัวซ่ามาเถอะเห็นว่าซ่าอุนิบาดีเนี่ย <coughs> 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 ไม่อยากมาเลยโอเคไอ้ตอกซะบ้าไปเลยมาไม่ซอบอย่าโอเคแกอยู่ซอบอย่าหนีอย่างอ่ะรู้บ้าเปียมันนี่นะรู้กว
on my row. I think I think I'll probably do that. I regulate all I am. First friend likes to have a Yeah, so on here, I'm Oh, yeah, I'll leave that Yeah, I'm here. 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 